Become a master coder. One brick at a time. Let's take a gander. To paraphrase Mark Zuckerberg, coding will be like science and math. It is just going to be a part of our world. It's going to be expected from the new generation. And right now we're starting to see that switch. We're starting to see a lot of coding toys introduced, but there's a couple problems. First thing is, it is some of them are very complicated. The second part is a lot of them have wires within it. So I saw Cubroid and I thought this is a great thing to review on my channel. This takes coding and Lego and mushes them together to create an awesome baby that is Cubroid. Let me start off by showing you what's inside this box. Now this is the car set. The car set includes two large wheels. It includes a total of eight building bricks. Now these bricks are Lego compatible and Creole and Mega Block compatible. Uh, there's a total of four colors, two per color. But this is the part that matters right here. These right here, these are the DC motors and this is a sensor that comes with it. Looking at the DC motor, let me tell you what's special about it and the functions that it has. So this right here, this is just the on button. You switch it on and when you switch it on, you could see this little green indicator. It's hard to see because it's so bright in here, but there's a little green indicator that's telling you that it's actually on. This is a function button, which I've rarely actually had to use so far. And this is the micro USB charging. This is a lithium ion within here. You can also plug this directly into a PC if you need to. But what's so cool about this is because it's an introductory to coding, you don't have, you don't need a PC. You can actually do this all from your smartphone. Proximity sensor right here will actually tell when it's approaching objects. It also does show a couple different interfaces on the top here. I'm going to show you what this looks like when you turn it on. It's hard to see, but there it is right there. Again, another function and USB chargeable as well. Now I'm going to show you the app that you use to control it. Now this is just a controller app. They're actually coming out with the coding app, I think February of 2018, but you can also use Scratch if you want to get into a little bit more in-depth coding on your PC. So I'm going to click the Cubroid app, and this is what the interface looks like. This will show up. There's a couple different options depending on whichever set you get, but being the car set, this is the one that I picked. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn on each block. Once we turn on each block, so once you load up the app, you go into each one and it should search and find your Cubroid, the ones that you've turned on. So see we have two DC power motors and then we have a proximity sensor. Now once you do that, you can control it right with the app. So let's take a look. Here we have these two. They both move in sync. So awesome. And then we have this one which we could change the different looks to it. There we have a diamond. And then there's a musical note. I believe there's other options too. You could use those other options uh, within the PC mode. Now we have the basic functions working. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see what we can create. One of the first things that I've always wanted for my channel is a rotating platform for my minifigures. Here we have Captain Hook spinning like there's no tomorrow. Now this is just a simple two-wheeled car. Spin for me. Spin the other way. And the motor is actually pretty powerful. It can actually climb over its own blocks. I think that's pretty cool. But now I want to build something more complicated with Lego bricks. So I modded a Nexo Knights car with the Cubroid bricks. Just imagine the possibilities. You can animate Star Wars TIE Fighters. You can animate all types of cool stuff with these Cubroid bricks if you include them into your Lego sets. For a few shout outs, Owen Nibbles, Potato Dude, and DJ Lego Guy, here is a huge thumbs up to you. Thank you so much for watching Toy Gander. And now, guys, it's that time of the video. The first three subscribers that put in the comments below on what would you do 
if you had a cuboid Lego set, the first three subscribers that put that in the comments, I will give you a shout out in the next Saturday video. Guys, I want to thank you so much. Make sure you check out Cubroid. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can look at it. And until next time, you can help us take a gander. <laughs>